Nigeria has got the fourth largest mangrove forest in the world, but has lost almost 50% of that in the past 50 years. Dangote Industries is at the forefront of promoting a sustainable Africa and lifting coastal communities out of poverty. This is a state where most of our activities are focused, so this is a state where we have taken a primary interest, and the state mangrove forests are getting destroyed. So we are focusing to see how to not only preserve what we have, but to try to restore right. back to its original glory. Which means one of the key fo focus is the trees have been destroyed. So as a first phase, we are planting 10,000 trees. Today is now is a major climax of uh, 2024 Sustainability Week. This is an annual event. Uh, there's an, a whole week span across uh, all our locations, uh, all the, st uh, the, the locations across Africa, Pan-Africa, and across our locations in Nigeria, uh, and also across all the multi-sector uh, areas of our business endeavor. And we've showcased sustainability. There's no need focusing on our productivity if we are unable to preserve what uh, future generations will be able to uh, live off from. So that's really the essence. So this is the high point of our sustainability week for 2024. And we've, we're glad to be able to partner with uh, Echo, Echo Restoration Foundation. Uh, they've just showed up at the right time. Uh, we've been seeking for ways to partner with uh, and having to partner with an Echo NGO that speaks what we represent. The 10,000 mangrove tree planting event was also attended by members of the host community as well as the traditional ruler. The project will serve as a buffer for oceanification and reduce the loss of prime coastal wetlands. The Mangrove Park Sanctuary and Research Centre is also promoting studies and derivatives that will be certified and useful as herbal products. Planting the mangrove trees is what is long expected. If you get if you get the record straight, we are losing so much of the mangrove mangrove population in Lagos State. We have lost up to about 50 percent right now, and uh, we have to find a way to put a stop to it, and possibly you know put that on the reverse. Uh, we all know the advantages of having mangrove in our you know community in our system. Uh, they have a way of protecting the you know the coast the coastline guiding against those ocean surge, you know, sea level rise that we're facing now, you know, encroachment. Mangroves also help to store carbon. And our efforts to put the carbon footprint on the reverse, once we lose this mangrove population, we are working, you know, that will be counterproductive. The mangrove restoration is important, particularly to flag off the Great Blue Wall of Africa, which will be a belt wide from the entire coastal areas in Africa, because land lost to the oceanification can barely be used. Land lost to desertification can still be used for farming or any other purpose. So it's very important that we preserve, conserve and restore the mangroves. The Echo Park Mangrove Sanctuary and Research Center is dedicated to promoting mangrove studies, mangrove uh, derivatives uh, and projects that lift local communities, coastal communities out of poverty because the mangroves in turn help with biodiversity, improve fish catch as well as ensure that the mangroves being utilized for economic value through a secular economic system can become protected. By restoring mangroves, sustainable economies are being created for local communities whilst preserving biodiversity and fighting climate change. Fadishola Shutingwa, Arise News. Sustainability for Africa!